Hello everyone and welcome to another Off-Road Update. With only three rounds remaining in the 2024 Grand National Cross Country season, the XC2 Class Championship is still up for grabs. While Grant Davis has a healthy points lead over the rest of the field, in the dusty conditions of Round 11, the Mountaineer GNCC, anything could happen in the stretch run of the series. With the green flag waving, points leader Grant Davis rounded the first turn with the advantage and controlled it across the whole shot stripe. He would lead the field into the woods, followed by teammate Gus Reardon, Jesse Ansley, Toby Cleveland, and Brody Johnson. Halfway through the opening lap, and Davis controlled the lead as the front runners in XC2 caught the back end of XC1. Jonathan Johnson, after a mid-pack start, moved his way through the dust to the rear wheel of Davis as they had pulled a gap over the field. Gus Reardon came through in third with Cody Barnes and Brody Johnson rounding out the top five. Toby Cleveland was sixth with Brandon Gregoire making a pass on Jesse Ansley in front of the camera to take over seventh with Jay Lipscomb and Sawyer Caratura rounding out the top ten. Mile marker ten and Davis had pulled out a larger advantage in his lead over Johnson. The battle for third raged on as Barnes had moved himself to the rear wheel of Reardon while Brody Johnson and Toby Cleveland were close together to round out the top five. One mile into lap number two when Davis still led the way with John Johnson still keeping him in his sights. Reardon had made up time on the beta rider and at times had Johnson in his sights as well as Barnes fell slightly off the pace but retained the fourth spot on track with Brody Johnson still keeping close to the front four. At the nine mile mark, Jonathan Johnson was still keeping Grant Davis in his eyesight up ahead as the 2023 Mountaineer winner and his beta was feeling comfortable whether the Mountaineer course was wet or dry. Reardon, Barnes, and Brody Johnson kept their order in the top five. Seven miles into lap three, Grant Davis continued to lead the way and was inside the top five overall, as well as passing some of the back end XC1 riders. Reardon had moved into spot number two while Barnes had moved into the final podium position, dropping Jonathan Johnson back to fourth. All three riders were still glued wheel to wheel. Brody Johnson still held on to fifth just off the pace from his brother ahead of him. When the riders entered the pits, it was still Davis out front with Jonathan Johnson still in second, as both riders were in the top five overall. Barnes had moved back into third, dropping Reardon back to the fourth spot, Brody Johnson still rounding out fifth in class. Eight miles into lap four, and Davis was sixth physically on track amongst the XC1 riders. Barnes had put in a charge that placed him in second in the XC2 class. A few seconds off was Reardon, who had moved himself into the final podium position, with John Johnson still in close proximity to the duo ahead, Brody Johnson still in fifth. Two miles into the final lap, and Davis had caught up to fifth physically in XC1, solidifying his spot in the top five overall on adjusted time. Reardon, meanwhile, had problems and dropped the fifth as the battle was on for the final podium spot between the Johnson brothers, with younger brother Brody looking to capture his first ever XC2 podium. Halfway through the final lap, and it was Davis, Barnes, and Jonathan Johnson in the first three spots. Reardon had made his way back into fourth as it all came undone for Brody Johnson, who wouldn't finish the final lap. At the checkered flag, Grant Davis captured his fifth win in a row and seventh win of the season. Cody Barnes would come across the line in second with Jonathan Johnson taking the final spot on the podium. Gus Reardon would finish fourth with Toby Cleveland rounding out the top five. Thank you everyone for watching. Round 12 of the season is September 28th and 29th in Millfield, Ohio for the John Penton GNCC. I'll see you guys there.